Alright, part two. Like usual. Here we go. Uh, so... Oh yeah, worth mentioning. Um, if you actually have seen my video on this, uh, Fisher Space Pen, in that video, I was doing a comparison between this and some cheapo pens, and I specifically mentioned that I was super happy that I found a Verizon pen that day. Actually, there was a very good reason why I was excited that it was on that particular day, because, and this is recorded like, dang, go away. Um, it says, get on Facebook. Sorry, there's a notification that popped up on the screen, so I had to turn sideways to read it. Hi, guys. How's that? Anyway, um, yeah, I recorded that two days ago. And the reason why I was excited, because, and one thing I've actually noticed, I've gotten into just another hobby, which is gear stuff. If you mean you've noticed, I've been doing a review on a pen. I did a, rev I did a video on some pliers. I mean, you know, I'm just kind of having multiple hobbies right now, but... I've noticed in having two reviews or two hobbies like that, not really. I don't know if you'd really call them hobbies, but just interests. I've been getting a lot. Of, I've get, been getting behind in tech. So, but luckily um, that day when I did the review on this earlier that day, I had learned about Verizon was having a big event the next day, which was yesterday. Um, so they had a big event um, yesterday, which was then the next day, if that even makes sense. So, yeah. So I was really. Um, Glad I found that Verizon pin, and um, the reason was because um, it was very, very much speculated that the Verizon iPhone would be released yesterday, and indeed it was released yesterday. Um, so that's actually kind of cool. Am I actually excited about the iPhone Verizon thingy? I'm glad it's happening. It's going to open up a lot more FaceTime users, like the iPod Touch did. Um, it's just going to open up that much more. Some people might not, some people who used to have 4th gen iPod touches might sell them off for the iPhone. Um, me personally, when I actually just wanted, started wanting to get an iPod touch, I had, I was trying to decide whether or not to go for the iPhone or the iPod touch, and, uh, you know, back then it was the iPhone, iPhone 3G and the iPod touch 2nd gen. Um, I thought the iPhone 3G was too slow. By far, the iPhone 3G is the slowest, um, is the actual, the slowest phone I've ever used. Slowest or the slowest smartphone. Um, I've used some slow phones, but slowest smartphone. Um, so I didn't really... I wasn't too fond of that. I mean, I'm sure the iPhone original was a lot slower, but... You know, I just didn't like the way... It was plastic, it was all cheap feeling, I just didn't like it. Um, the iPod Touch, though, was... Uh, it had a faster processor, and uh, it was just a little bit thinner and a lot sturdy and solid, more solid. Um, so I went for that, but the biggest thing is that I hate contracts. I hate cell phone company contracts. I hate them, and yet I'm using a contract phone right now, but I'm kind of forced to at the moment. Um, I generally would like to use a track phone, you know, I, I don't, I, I just don't like having that, I, you know, monthly fees, you know, I mean, duh, I don't like that. Um, so I try and stick with very generic track phony type phones. I mean, I don't need an expensive phone, I mean, and plus actually, my track phone, I had more capabilities with than with the phone I'm using right now, which is a Razer. I mean, my, my track phone is a Crazer ripoff, which actually I don't think it was a ripoff because it was made by Motorola. <laughs> uh, but I could actually post post my blog. I could actually send emails with that phone. I could tweet from that phone. I cannot tweet with a Razer because of the uh, restrictions my parents have put on there to prevent from accidental, you know, overload of the data plan, thus making a lot more expensive. So, you know. Um... Sure, uh, that's not. So, I had a lot more freedom, actually, with those track phones, and I would like to get another one someday. We'll see, though. I don't really know. Um, just kind of, I don't like the whole idea of a monthly fee. Uh, so that's why I wanted to get the iPod Touch instead of the iPhone 3G, because I didn't really want the whole idea of contracts. And plus, it's expensive. With the iPhone, it's expensive. Very expensive. I mean, you people with iPhones, you're rich. You're just rich. I mean, I don't know. You might, you could probably digress or say against that but I don't know for the most part you're obviously richer than I am <laughs> I mean I'm just not willing to pay like that you know me the kind of user I am with my iPod um, I would totally eat through my data plan like like literally nothing with an uh, iPhone so I would have a big bill each month so I'm just not interested so honestly I'm not really too I mean, I'm excited for the iPhone 4 going to Verizon. Yes, I am. 
because there have been times I've wanted to try out Verizon, but at the same time, just not into the data plan. Not into data plans at all. And I'm sure Verizon is going to be a bit more exp expensive than on AT&T. Just, just, you know, just, I mean, with the uh, iPad, you know, that's ridiculous. That was ridiculous data plans there. So just my personal thoughts. Um, iPad... I was going to get ready to do a predictions on iPad 2, but I'm not going to do that yet. I might do that tomorrow. I probably need to do that later on. Uh, I did do one of those, but I didn't upload it just because I thought it was kind of ridiculous. It was too long. Um, so, yeah, I, if I do, it'll probably be multiple parts. I'll, I'll probably just use my iPod. It's, cool. it's convenient. So, that's that. It's got a camera, and it's convenient. Um, so, Something else that is very exciting to me. What is today? Is today the 12th or the 13th? I can't remember. Um, but anyway, my birthday is like super duper soon, which is exciting. I remember last year for my bir for uh, on my birthday, I actually did a unboxing of a Western Digital My Book and some other stuff. I had like a bunch of unboxings. That was fun. Um, yeah, that was actually a pretty fun day. <laughs> unboxing videos. Honestly, for you people who think unboxing videos are pointless and just really weird. It's weird that you do that we do them. Honestly, you need to try one. You need to just next time you get something nice, just do an unboxing video. You might be surprised. Lots of people watch them. It's like it's crazy. I mean, you know, just do them cuz they're fun to make. You have no idea they are actually very fun to make. Now then again, that might just be taste. I might think they're fun to make, but you might not. So, you might think, "Wow, here is the flip camcorder. Here is the USB cable that comes with it. Actually, flips don't come with USB. I don't know. I'm not a flip person. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Whereas I'd be like, Dude, check out this camera. It's the flip. Ah! And here's a cable that comes with... Oh my god. Because I just... I don't know. I wouldn't do that. I just like doing unboxings. So... Yeah. Yep. This part two was just me talking. So I'm going to let you guys go now because I have nothing better to say. Besides this awesome checkerboard pattern that's very generic, I will do. I'll actually do the checker pattern that I challenged me myself and Pi to. Do you remember that? When I did that video? There, there, except I had him do it on a 5x5. Five five. That was pretty cool. He had a. I think that. I, I'm not trying to brag here, but I just have a feeling that. Well. I'm not going to say it was his favorite, but it certainly was the only one of its type. Nobody else ever did, like, challenge him to actually make a certain pattern with with only giving him either no information about it or just a little information about it. I only gave him this, the algorithm to do this pattern because he, this would be very hard for him to figure out on his own. Trust me, it would have been. So, I decided to go ahead and give him that, so, yeah. Alright, I'm going to let you guys go now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Adios. Come on. Do it.